Hello everyone, welcome back. We have something I have never shown off one time yet, and that is this wall right here. Now you have maybe seen this wall from this picture which gives you an idea what was there before, but I needed space. I need more space for manga and the shelves, while convenient and nice, were not cutting it. So what I did is I removed all the shelves and I'm going to be using them other places, which is gonna be great. And then I put up this shelving here. And the way I did it is five levels and I'm gonna have double rows on each one with the shelf risers. So that is 10 rows, approximately 15 feet each. And yes, that's right. That is going to be a 150 feet of manga, which it'll approximately hold 2,500-ish manga. But obviously that varies with volumes and sizes and things like that. So I'm going to be organizing thousands of manga. You're going to hear that beautiful manga ASMR, and then I'm going to stop in and tell you what I'm doing and what I'm thinking with each row, and I will show you the progress. Let's go. I'm gonna try to use some bookends on the bottom because I have a gap here and you will have a hard time seeing anything past this point. So let's start adding some monk. Okay, I had a slight camera malfunction, so I stopped as soon as I found it, and I just did the top row here. Now we are going to add our taller manga up top. I'm going to do some completed series near the beginning, and then some ongoing bigger series along the way that I think are aesthetically pleasing. Let's go.
Okay, I'm choosing to leave another gap. I'm just putting this box set at the end instead of using a bookend here. And I have room to wiggle and move things around when I need. The colors are popping and it's starting to look real nice. Boy, oh boy, let me tell you something. My choices when I was buying and putting these up have finally came and I made the correct call. Here's a perfect example. Right in front of me, straight on, is the shelf bracket, which is an industrial one. It can hold way more than like closet or rubber made, the kind of shelves that you see everywhere for closets and stuff. And the reason why I went with these is because they are thin, so they can go in between the mangas here. And look at that gap. It's almost like a normal gap, like it's not even there. My idea to do this wall, I feel, is working wonderfully because it is so soaking up manga like a sponge. I can already tell by the time I get down here, I'm gonna have some extra room. Now obviously 2,500-ish manga that can fit over here cannot fit my whole collection, not even close. But that's why I have multiple bookshelves other places and I will have room to grow. Second full shelf row is done. You'll notice that the only complete series on this whole shelf is B-Stars. Let's keep going. This is fun.
third row is done that's 30 feet of manga per shelf section that i can put in here as you probably noticed i put completed series in the back again so those are all complete but up front i put ongoing series now it is absolutely crazy how many ongoing series we have i mean these aren't the first ones there's there's plenty up here too and behind the scenes there's got to be at least 50 to 100 more ongoing series it's just it's crazy <laughs>
finish this row here and you can see I went with the complete series in the back and as you can see I started with the bigger ta the taller series right there about 70% the way through and then I started the ongoing series for the taller books some of these over here are complete they're just kind of like a hodgepodge of things that need to be put away now what I did off camera just real quick is with the bottom row here you can see I just threw in some boxes sets as you see and I just put them in a little diagonal way that you're able to see them all I uh, did not put in Pandora hearts for the time being they look pretty nice pretty snazzy uh, if you put them perpendicular to each other I would maybe only be able to put in like half as many or less so putting them this way gets them out of the way and this is not all my box sets so <laughs> yeah I got a lot of box sets and at the end here we got some uno pieces I got the two more to put in there but for the time being I'm just sticking the Akira which will move I'm about 10 feet away ish right now from all this 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 wall what you're seeing this 15 feet and this 369 12 120 feet of manga that we put up here today so I will have seven to ten more shelves uh, not counting the big one right there to put more manga on and and the box sets will probably go on top of them eventually. So let me know down below what you think of my 15 plus foot wall here. Like it more than the bookshelves or not. One thing is for sure this way holds a thousand plus more manga and it's more stable the shelves on the other one were starting to bow after a year some of these setups are heavy so this holds them with hundreds and hundreds of weight to spare let me know if you think i should uh take some chunks some series out that are finished here and there and put some figures in or if you just like the overwhelming wall of manga thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time.